This is my first time painting a mural, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Right now, what we have with me is my pair of headphones because I'm gonna be locked in. I got a nice cold water in there with my circle. And right now, I have the Fresa flavor in. We've got an order of 100 stickers to go ship out today. And in this handy dandy, handy dandy backpack, I have my acrylic paints. And then down here, I have more paint. And we're gonna go to Walmart right now to go buy some spray paints so I can do like, so I can do the outline. I'm gonna tell you so straight, and it's that I never painted a mural before. But who needs experience when you have aura and vibes? And that's what I brought to the table. So long as I had like this idea and I knew what I wanted to paint, I knew I can get myself there. So I did my little research as a little Capricorn self that I am, and I figured out that one of the things I needed the most was exterior paint. Since this was an outside mural, I'm gonna have to be painting over like texture, graininess, um, and I found out, and for your information, if you ever do an outside mural, you will want to get an eggshell or a matte finish because it will leave your painting popping. This is the wall I'll be painting on. I'm going to go ahead and go to the page that I had designed the mural on. I should have printed out because it is so hard to screen, see my screen with like the lights. You know how it goes. If you know, you know. Here's the design. So I'm going to use like the grid on here to try to map out a grid on there. And I'm going to start an outline with the spray paint. Another part of creating a mural is the design. I had the luck of collaborating with the business owner, Laura, to show off her Mexican heritage through this painting. She really wanted an hacienda style fountain, nopales and roses along the wall, and a giant sun. There was also another piece to this mural that I excluded on this part of the series, but it may or may not be shown in part two. We shall see. Hot, so I'm taking a break way too hot an aspect of painting murals is pricing please have this done before any work is done value yourself as an artist and charge accordingly this means charging per square foot this means charging for any renting tools such as a lift you might have to use this means charging for supplies for materials and your time day two uh, today's day two of working on the mural. I got some more spray paints because I really enjoyed working with the spray paints yesterday. So today I'll be doing the ombre effect for the sun. So I got some red, some orange, and so like I don't go past like the circle I already drew. I got some masking tape. So let's go do that. So this is what I got going on. I honestly can't even put like the tape up there because I'm too short, but this is what we're working with. I think I did a pretty good job as a circle.
Hey Bessie, so today is day three. Day three of working on the mural. Last night I got to outline the fountain as well as prime it. So I'll be working kind of like on a blank canvas. It is gray, so it's not a white canvas, but it is gray. Thankfully I don't have to paint over like red, orange, yellow, and green hues because that would be a nightmare. But this is what I had in mind for the fountain. She's cute. And then over here I have like the color swatches of each section for the fountain. I think it might be easier if I just work in sections of like based off of paint. For example, I'll just mix like the darkest colors first and then add those to the spots that I need to go to. And then I'll work on like the medium colors, like anything that has like purple tones to it, I'll add that. And then I'll finish off with like the white and like the eggshell colors. So that is the plan for today. We'll see how it goes. Cause I do need to like, I need to be done like within two hours cause I got somewhere to be. So this is how it looks like so far for Wednesday's update. Got the paint right there to clean it up. So even though like I didn't finish the majority of this, like I had accounted for it, so I'll be able to finish this one tomorrow. But yeah, that's how she looks like. I'm gonna sign my Instagram tag and I was thinking like along the lines here but I don't know how perfect I can make that. I also thought right here would be cool in the water. Uh, I don't know. The I water would be cool. Right? Like right here? Yeah. But I feel like it would pop out more right here. Yeah, it would look good there. Either one would look good. August. It is August. First, second, ninth. Eighth. It's the ninth today! It's the ninth and it's fucking chilly. I should have won more. Okay, so I lied. I still have more water to add right here. This is gonna be really low quality. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so I just got done, quotation marks on the done with the mural because I'm gonna come back later this month to, next month, sorry, I forgot we were in August. I'm coming back in August, sorry. I'm coming back in September, end of September to finish up the mural. She's okay, like we talked about it before that this wasn't gonna be done during the time that I was here that I'm gonna be able to finish up and make more details when I'm back. And so, yeah, I'm done with the fun, thank God. Done with the sun. So when I do come back in late September, I'll make a second video of like, oh, finishing the mural. So the second video will consist of adding more details and dimension to the cactuses because the cactuses are still flat, adding more details to the flowers and cleaning up over on the sun. Cause right now the, the sun's so messy from the spray paint. Um, I got a free Agua de Sandia. So we're gonna try it. Bro, other aguas are fucking good. This ain't no promo video because they contracted me to paint a mural for them. But if you're in like 
the Texas Panhandle area, sorry, Oklahoma Panhandle area, Texas County area, where you pass through Guymont, like, stop by Munchies and get a drink. All their drinks are freaking good. I used to always get, like, those dragon fruit, strawberry lemonade, uh, and then I switched over to Coca de Nuez. That was a fucking fire. And lately I've been drinking the Sandia one, because that's good. But it's really cold right now. It's like fucking August 8th or 9th, one of those two days. I didn't think it was going to be cold. Bitch, I'm fucking freezing up in there. And I was like, I have to stop. I was supposed to work on this for 30 more minutes, but I couldn't. I was like, this bitch is cold. Oh, I need to fix that. It's like when you stop painting, you step back and you're like, I need to fix that. Like, I don't like how that looks. I see that with one of the part of the fountains now. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm really happy that I was able to do this. So now what my plans are is to go back home, clean out my car. Because look, she's a mess. All that is paint. You see that? You see that? I got spray paint, a can of paint on my paintbrushes. Oh my god. Paintbrushes are some of the worst to clean up. Paintbrushes are heinous to clean up. There's like, especially this fucking brush. Me and this brush have fucking beef. Because it's so hard to clean up. I got a shower too before I get into bed. My jeans are dirty. I need to wash my clothes because I leave. Not first thing in the morning tomorrow, but I'm leaving like around the afternoon. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching part one of creating my first mural. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this process. I enjoyed making it. Really hope I get to do more murals in the future. If you're a business in the Houston area, Oklahoma City area, or Guyman slash Oklahoma Panhandle area, hit me up. My contact email is contact at grimstudio.r. Email me anytime. We can work together. We can work together. I'll give you beautiful art. You need money. Anyways, Grim out. <laughs>